you need to be making mistakes. And then when you get rid of those errors and you practice and practice and focus on where you're going wrong, you'll expand your maths knowledge. What you want to do is take that topic right back to the start. Because mistakes allow you to get better at maths, view them as positive things. Maths is a subject that you actually have to do in order to get better. The most important thing you can do to get better at maths is to Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. I do hope that you are all well. I believe the majority of you are now back at school. Let me know how it is going in the comments. Tell me what's different. Tell me how you're finding it. Are your teachers more stressed out? Are your lessons different? Let me know what's changed in the comments down below. Today we are going to be talking about how you watching this can get better at maths. I'm gonna be giving out top 10 tips to you, and to be honest, I don't really think there is a better person to do this than myself. In 2018, I sat my GCSE maths. Let's go back to around about 2015, 2016, when I was in year nine. I actually was on a grade four, but in year 11, I came out with a grade nine. Then I went on to do my A-level maths at the age of 16, may I add, because I did my A-level maths in a year, and I came out with a grade A. Then, what I would have done is sat my further maths exam in 2020, but of course that didn't happen because of coronavirus, so my actual grade that I was given this year was an A. So I got two A's for maths and further maths at A-level. If you're wanting to do the same, then keep on watching this video. Oh, the house phone's ringing. Make sure to go and follow me over on Instagram to stay updated and on the social medias as well. That was my chair, not me. <laughs> anyway, let's jump in to the video. The most important thing you can do to get better at maths is to practice. You hear the saying, practice makes perfect, which I kind of don't agree with really, especially for maths. Practice doesn't make perfect. Nobody is ever perfect at maths, but practicing will get you better at maths. Maths is a subject that you actually have to do in order to get better. It's not gonna get anywhere if you don't do it. You can't just leave your homework on the side and not do it because you're not gonna get better. So find the best way that you learn. Learn by practicing. Practice different revision techniques. Practice different exams. Make sure you're actually doing maths because that way you will, with hard work, get better. Focus on the topics that you don't understand. It's really, really easy to kind of trick your brain into thinking you're revising. If you're just doing questions that you understand, let's say you're doing quadratics and you really enjoy that, you're not going to get better if you already know that topic. Despite how satisfying it is when you can get an answer to a question, you can give yourself full marks, you want to be able to do that for everything. And to be able to do that for everything, you're going to need to focus on what you find tough. You're going to have to look at where you're losing marks or where you have to stop and put your pen down because you get stuck. If you do that, you're focusing on your errors and then over time you can slowly iron those errors out. And then when you get rid of those errors and you practice and practice and focus on where you're going wrong, you'll expand your maths knowledge and you'll be able to do more questions, more topics and get better in exams. Take topics right back to the beginning. If you don't understand a topic, whether that's a GCSE topic, an A-level topic, what you want to do is take that topic right back to the start. At the minute, I'm learning to drive. If I just got in a car and we went straight to manoeuvres without actually knowing how to work the pedals, I'm not going to be able to do that car manoeuvre. Let's say I needed to reverse and I don't know how to get into reverse gear, I'm not going to be able to reverse. That is how you need to think about getting better at maths. If you're trying to solve equations, but you are yet to master collecting like terms, which are just two algebra topics 
at GCSE Maths, you're not going to be able to get any better because you have to be able to collect like terms to start solving equations. Even if you understand the beginning bit, that's fine, but you can work your way up so that you have all the foundation knowledge and then you can build your way up to where you want to be. Research, use the internet, use videos to get that foundation knowledge. Very, very important, embrace your mistakes. Are we in focus? I think we are. You need to be making mistakes because that way we can easily highlight what is going wrong. Because mistakes allow you to get better at maths, view them as positive things. Don't be too hard on yourself if you make a mistake. Don't get yourself down because making mistakes are good things. They allow you to get better and they actually allow you to realise what you're doing wrong so that you can get better. What you want to do is actually do something physical with your mistakes. Whether that's when you get a test back and you've got some questions wrong, make sure you do the solutions to those questions. If you don't do the model solutions, you're not gonna actually learn how to answer that question. And then if that question comes up again or that similar style of question comes up again, you're not gonna be able to answer it if you haven't done the actual solution to it. And if you don't understand something the first time, speak to your teacher. Then go away and try and do some revision or try and get it into your brain with the method that you prefer. If it doesn't go in, go back to your teacher and don't be afraid of going three or four times until you get something right. A very big thing that I think helped me get better at maths is to start with a positive mindset. I can really speak about this one quite personally because I think, like I just said, it really helped me get better. I didn't really like maths at school. I could always kind of had an interest in it, but I didn't really know why we were doing it. I didn't understand what the point of it was, but then I got a new teacher and that just made me think, I can do this. I am gonna get better at maths. And even just saying that to myself, before I started to do some work, it really helped me get a positive mindset and start working positively. So you might be asking, how can I actually get into a positive mindset? Things you can do, reflect on what's happened in the day so the next day you can go into lessons positively. If something's happened outside the classroom, put it outside the classroom and when you go in to your maths lesson, just say to yourself, I am focusing on maths for this hour. Also make sure that you've actually done your homework so that you go into your lesson and you've not got to say to your teacher, I've not done my homework, I've left it at home, blah, 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 blah. You can just go in and say, miss, I've done it. Sir, I've done it. Here's my homework. And that should set you up to be quite productive in that lesson. Nothing is going to happen overnight. Sorry, but it's not. Make sure you take your time. You are going to have to do a lot of hard work. Plan out your revision that you're going to do. Plan out when you're going to do that maths. Are you going to do it at a certain time? Where are you going to do it? Where do you work best? Is that a home, a library, school, wherever? Taking your time will mean that you have to be disciplined with yourself. Motivation can wear off and you can get quite unmotivated and get in this kind of slump because you're not gonna see change overnight. If you do start slipping, recognize that you're slipping, you're getting into this slump and you're not doing as much work as you think you can or that you have been doing. Recognize that and do something about it because if you don't do something about it, you're gonna stay as you are and you're not gonna get better at maths. Be confident. Tell yourself that you are gonna get the grade that you need. You are gonna improve in maths. Have that thought at the back of your head. It links to a positive mindset, but if you're starting a question, think to yourself, I am going to get this question right. I know it sounds a bit silly, because if you can't do the maths method, you're not gonna get it right. But if you have got that thought in your head, you will approach that question very differently to if you're thinking, I can't do this question, I'm not gonna get an answer. Really, really important, loads of people don't do this. Please use your teachers. They are paid to help you. They are paid to get you where you want to be. Do not struggle alone. I know from personal experience that feeling when you're, sounds dramatic, but it's true, when you're trying to do a maths question and this little lump appears in your throat, you can feel yourself getting angry because you can't do it and you just feel like crying. I've been there, trust me. And look, I am now starting a maths degree. I love maths. 
So please, ask your teachers for help. One that really, really helped me is, and I've kind of mentioned it throughout the video, but use your class tests productively. Before you actually sit a class test or a mock exam, actually revise for them. Everybody says it and you think, No, I can't bother. No, I'm not going to do it. Whatever. No, actually think I'm going to do everything I can for the grade I get in this exam to reflect where I'm up to in maths. If you revise very strictly for every, strictly as in strictly come dancing, <laughs> If you revise for every exam, you are going to see progress. Don't think stupidly and think, I want to be on a grade nine straight away. Because like I said previously, you've got to take your time. But do that revision for every exam. And then you will slowly see your exam mark increasing. Or if you're not doing exams, you'll slowly see that you're able to answer more questions. Or that you can explain more topics. Whatever your circumstance is. And the last piece of advice in this video is one that might not work for everybody, but for me, I was all over this piece of advice. Get ahead of what you're learning in class. I got myself a copy of the textbook that we used in class, and I had that copy at home. The night before, I would look through a chapter or just some questions that I would have been doing in the lesson the day after. That way, in the back of my mind, I kind of knew what was coming up, I knew what we were going to do in the lesson, and I could sort of pre-teach myself or do some kind of pre-reading, just kind of get some background knowledge. And then, when your teacher's talking, you can actually connect to them. <laughs> Sounds like you teach us some sort of Wi-Fi or something. No, not like that. I mean, you can connect to your teacher and actually understand what they're talking about. That way, you're, when your teacher's talking, you're not just letting it go over your head because you've read before the class, you've done some questions before the class, and you can actually understand what your teacher's talking about. That is all the advice I have for this video. I really, really do hope it was useful and that you do get better at maths with hard work. You're not gonna get better if you just watch this video. You have to now do your part. So attend all your lessons, keep practicing, practice, 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 and you will get the grade that you want. If you've got any questions, like I said, message me on Instagram or leave them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, please leave a big thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you very, very soon with a brand new video. Bye. Strictly as in, strictly come dancing. <laughs>